This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Storyblocks.com. Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a glitch title animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. We will take a look at various different techniques to create this cool glitch title animation and you can use this technique to create your own unique style as well. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. I'm going to rename this to render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition, which is going to be our text placeholder. So I'm going to type in text and hit OK with the same exact settings. Select the text tool and then you can type in your text. You can, of course, type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in dynamic titles let's align this into the center and for the font i'm using integral cf you can download the font link will be in the description below by the way you can download the complete free project file from the link in the description below and if you enjoy my videos you can also support me on patreon uh, link again is in the description below anyways here we have our title i'm going to duplicate this hit control d to duplicate it let's pull this up and let's change this one to a demi bowl let's bring down the size and you can type in your tagline or whatever that you want to type in i'm going to type in let's go with glitchy designs or glitch designs something like that we can anytime change it later on so i'm gonna put this like so and make this italic all right so that is looking good our title is ready let's go back into our main render comp let's drag and drop in our text composition create a new composition and i'm going to call this map as this is going to be our fractal map for our displacement map a fractal layer for our displacement map oh sorry there let's hit ctrl y to create a new solid called this fractal go into effects and preset type in fractal again and i will be using fractal noise for this let's change the noise type from soft linear to block i'll increase the contrast like around 300 go into the transform properties unlink this and let's increase the scale width all the way up to something like 7000 you know just way high so that we get this kind of lines and then i will go into the sub settings and change the sub rotation to around let's go something like 75 let's set this to full and then the glare hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink this let's change the scale width to around 60 percent and height to around 180 and then i can hit r and rotate this by 90 degrees so we get this kind of snappy effect but we need to animate this as well using the evolution that we get with the fractal noise so in order to animate this i will be using a very simple expression i'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch let's type in time times 1000 so it's going to keep on animating this randomly like so pretty cool so there we go our map is ready now let's go back into our main render comp drag and drop in our map layer we can hide this we don't need to see it right click create a new adjustment layer i'm going to call this displacement hit ok go into effects and preset and use the displacement map effect all right in the displacement map layer i'm going to set this to the map composition that we just created let's set the use from horizontal displacement and use from vertical displacement both of them to luminance bring this down to zero and this one down to zero as well let's go to one second create a keyframe on the max vertical displacement go back and set this to 45 should be fine and basically we get this really interesting look as you can see now let's take this one step forward so what i'm going to do is select the shape layer and create a square like so and then convert this layer into an adjustment layer and to do that i'm going to hit f4 
and click on the small icon that you see right here and turn that on so it's gonna convert that shape layer into an adjustment layer and on that layer I will be using a transform effect so I'll go to effects and presets uh, the transform effect and basically you know I can change the position of this to create a really interesting look but before that I'll stretch this up a little and make this a bit taller let's go to one second and um, let's create a keyframe on the position go back and let's bring that down like so and basically we have this really interesting look as you can see pretty cool let's duplicate this one more time so hit ctrl d I'm gonna pull this just like so we right over here go at the very start and let's change the position to the top so we get some variation like that looking pretty good let's select everything hit u so we can see just the keyframes select the keyframes hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes pretty nice now let's select everything hit ctrl a ctrl shift c to precompose it and i'm going to call this animation now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor storyblocks as an editor how much time have you wasted looking for that perfect video clip or maybe that perfect music for your videos or a simple graphic animation as an editor don't you wish there was a simple and affordable way to find the clips and graphics for your projects what if i told you there is there is storyblocks storyblocks offers thousands of studio quality and royalty free stock video clips after effects templates motion graphics backgrounds intros and so much more everything is royalty free so you can use it for your commercial projects or for your old youtube videos which is super awesome storyblocks offers affordable subscription plans that scale to meet your needs and a new video editing tool called maker i use storyblocks myself for my client projects because with their unlimited all access plan i can download unlimited assets and use maker and i only have to pay a single price per year so go ahead and check out storyblocks.com slash dope motions or click the first link in the description below and then what i'm going to do is select the map layer here in the project panel and hit ctrl d to duplicate it so we have map 2 and then jump into this let's hit r and set the rotation to 0 hit s and bring down the scale to the default properties that is 100 and 100 looking good and drag and drop it hide this let's create a new adjustment layer again or basically what i'm going to do is delete this let's go back into our animation comp let's select the displacement layer hit ctrl c and ctrl v to paste that up let's um go into effects and preset and change this to map 2 and we get a really complex looking glitch as you can see already now the best part is that you can select this displacement layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and keep on duplicating it and make it look even more glitchy and complex but i think one works good for now and then what i'm going to do is hit ctrl d and now we will be creating that rgb effect and i have already showed that if that style and that effect the way to create that effect in many of my tutorial but i'm going to do that one more time again so i'm going to go into effects and presets let's type in um, shift channels let's um, double click to apply that up and set the take from red to full off take from green to full off we just need the blue for now let's duplicate this hit ctrl d let's set the blue to full off turn on the green let's hit ctrl d set the green to full off let's turn on the red and then select the red the first and the second layer hit f4 and change the track mat oh uh, sorry change the blending mode of this to add all right we don't see anything because we need to displace them a bit so i'm going to displace them by maybe around two frames and now we get this really interesting glitchy look but we are not done yet then i'm going to create a new adjustment layer again call this 3d and then i will be using a really interesting effect called basic 3d so double click and basically this is gonna allow us to tilt the animation the way we do it with the 3d layer but it's not real 3d it's just a replication of 3d which is really interesting as you can see we can achieve some really great results using this so you know pretty cool right but for now i'm gonna set this to zero 
and let's um, rotate this something like around maybe 70 per 70 degrees go at the very start create a keyframe on the tilt go to one second and set this to zero so we have a really simple movement like that maybe around let's go with 80 yeah that looks much better and then at 20 frames i'm gonna add a transform layer so i'm gonna go into effects and presets let's type in transform double click to apply that up let's add this to around 110 create a keyframe on the scale properties go to around one second and 10 frame and set this to 95 or something looks good hit u so we can see just the keyframes select the keyframes hit um, f9 go into the graph editor and then i'm going to place the time indicator into the center select this point and create a peak right over here just like so so we have a nice little zoom out animation uh maybe i'll scale this a bit more like around 115 so we have this really nice movement as you can see it will increase the timing a bit yep that looks much better but at the start i don't want it i want to add a little bit of animation to our text so i will be using a very simple technique here so i'm gonna go into my text layer and what i want to do is turn on the title action say first of all select the mask layer and let's select the text layer and create a mask from the center i'm gonna hold alt at the same time just like that all right and then let's animate the expansion so I'm going to go to around one second and increase the mask expansion like that. All right, create a keyframe, go back at the very start and let's bring that down. Select the keyframes, hit F9 and go into the graph editor. Right click, make sure you're working in the edit speed graph and drag this point like so. So we have something like this, pretty nice and simple. So let's check out our final animation, maybe bring that out a bit and there we have a really interesting glitchy title animation which looks pretty cool and very simple to create as you can see now you can do number of different things with this you can also add a glow effect so i can even go into my effects and presets again type in glow let's add that set the glow threshold all the way up to 100 and increase the glow radius really high something like that bring that down just a touch and then switch this to switch this to 16 bits so i'm gonna hold alt and click on this and boom there we go some nice glow on our text pretty good so there we go there we have created a glitchy title animation inside of after effects without using any plugins so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on creating this very simple and elegant looking glitch animation inside of after effects and if you enjoyed this make sure you hit that like button and also comment down below and if you're watching my video for the very first time make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so you always get notified whenever i post a new video with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out